What is stationary and mobile phase in chromatography? Imagine you have a mixture of different colors of paint and you want to separate them into individual colors. Chromatography is a technique that helps you do just that, but instead of paint, it's used for separating various substances. To understand how it works, let's break down the two key components, the stationary phase and the mobile phase. The stationary phase is the part that stays in one place. It's usually a porous solid like silica, alumina, or even a liquid film coated on a solid substrate. This material is packed into a column or spread out on a flat surface, like a plate or paper. The stationary phase is where the magic happens as it interacts with the substances you want to separate. On the other hand, the mobile phase is the part that moves. It can be a liquid or a gas, depending on the type of chromatography you're doing. For example, in liquid chromatography, the mobile phase is a liquid solvent that flows through the column, while in gas chromatography, it's an inert gas. This mobile phase carries the mixture of substances through the stationary phase. Here's how it works. You inject the mixture into the mobile phase, which then flows through the stationary phase. As the substances move through the column, they distribute themselves between the mobile and stationary phases based on their affinity for each phase. Some substances will stick more to the stationary phase, while others will move more quickly with the mobile phase. This difference in affinity allows the substances to separate as they travel through the system. For instance, in gas-liquid chromatography, the mobile phase is a gas, and the stationary phase is a liquid film on a solid support. The gas flows through the column, and the substances separate based on their partial pressures above the stationary phase. The pore diameter of the stationary phase is also important. It needs to be the right size to allow the particles of the substances to pass through, which helps in effective separation. For example, smaller molecules like cannabinoids need smaller pore sizes to separate them from larger molecules. In summary, the stationary phase is the fixed material that interacts with the substances, and the mobile phase is the moving solvent or gas that carries these substances through the stationary phase, allowing them to separate based on their different affinities. This process is essential for separating and identifying the components of a mixture in various scientific and industrial applications.